Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We are today going to be messing up. Oh, I just, <laughs> I just realized, see my neck? <laughs> so I, oh geez, I changed skins. Um, it's the same basic skin, but I took out, um, my, my skin used to be an F on, on the sweatshirt to represent where I went to um, college at. But, so I changed it to, it's still a hooded sweatshirt, as you can see. All right, still a hooded sweatshirt, but the skin color on the neck when you look up is my old. I, I changed the skin color instead of being like that light white, white pinkish color. I changed it to more of a tannish white color, but my I just realized now my <laughs> my hands and my neck are still <laughs> that color. I must be a a gamer that sits by the window and only gets his face tanned. So, anyways, <laughs> today we're gonna go over and do some villager. Uh, start building up our villager trading outpost and curing villagers. I will show you. We have quite a few. Uh, probably a few too many villagers up at, at this point where they might be reaching mob cap status if that's possible for villagers and just randomly killing themselves. I'm not saying anything like that, but we got quite a few. <laughs> we got quite a few here. Uh, so we're going to get out of here and explain kind of what we're going to do because it's kind of loud in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go off the same basic look and feel for now. This will, once we build out Wakanda over here, um, this will all change. But for now, what I'm going to, geez, those are loud. What I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take that same basic design as this farm, but instead of being like this diamond shape that it is, I will build it out to be more of like a circular shape, but underneath this mountain. And then I will terraform up into the mountain a little bit to still make it this same overall thing where it's using the land, the landscape and the whatnot and have the smooth stone here with the uh, black glass here, black stained glass with it just being kind of built in and we'll build our outpost there. And so what we're going to end up doing is instead of doing just like, you know, you can bring them out on a minecart and bring some minecart rails up and then I'm going to I'm going to put in the middle of the circles where the cure machine's going to be and then I'll put them on the villagers themselves on the edges of the circle so that we can just bring them up and then cure them and then put them in the spots that we want them to be in. But I'm not going to just do it where I bring them up in mine carts and just bring them up on rails. I'm going to do a little bit of rude I think it's called Rube Goldbergish sort of ways of doing it where it's like you're doing things excessively and you don't have to do them excessively like that, but it's just kind of fun little machines to do things. So what I plan on doing is once they're in the minecart, I'm just going to put them onto a uh, a piston flying machine, an elevator flying machine, and going to bring them up flying like that, and then shove some rails under the minecart and have it come into where we need it to be. Now the design I'm going to go with isn't any one one particular person's design overall. It's me doing a little bit of research, figuring, seeing some different ways people are doing different me me mechanics of the game and putting a couple of them together and making my own sort of design for the overall design on the cure. So once we get that completed, you guys will see it and I will keep you up to date on the progress. So let's get some villagers made today. So first things first, we have to take care of this guy. <laughs> I have it coming straight to just anything coming down but you can put a little i gotta put a little system in here where they can't get into the water stream until they are matured and so we have dudes little dudes now here because of breeding happening that are just running around like crazy but uh what we're gonna do is this is our basic dispensing system that we will have where we whenever we're up top and we need a we need a mine cart we need a villager we're going to hit this button. We'll, we'll hit a button up there and it will dispense the minecarts. I have this whole auto feeding system that will feed the minecarts back into here. Eventually we'll get there. And what you just hit the button, once one gets in, it activates and goes. And that's how we will get our villagers. So you are going to stay right there for quite a while until I get the piston elevator up and going. But first, we are going to go up and design the actual building, get the building put out and laid out so then we know where we need to go and before we start bringing villagers up. So there it is, the villager outpost. We have, it's a 39 diameter circle, so it's pretty big. We have a couple things. I, I like the fact that 
I don't do this very often when I played in the past where I actually like decorate a little bit, terraform, and usually just I'll put a structure around it and light it up. And But I've realized that be, the the people that really stand out, they actually decorate and make it look good. And, and, and it seems like they that's what keeps them, their projects going. So that's what I'm going to do. So I need to add some pillars back here. I don't want to terraform and fill this in and like get rid of the river. I want to build two or three pillars up and make it stand out, you know, stand it out where it looks like it's getting supported by some pillars and that's how it's meant to be rather than just, oh, it's all on the ground. So while we are here then, we also got the, we captured a zombie so that he can infect them so that we can heal them. And then this is our landing station, if you want to call that. Our flying, our flying machines down there. It's gonna get a villager launched onto it. It's gonna come up here. Once it comes here, this is gonna get detect that it landed. This is a counter, so there's two redstone in here. So when it comes, what's gonna end up happening when it when it arrives, it's going to place one in there. It's going to send a pulse over to here. Uh, these are gonna extend. Where are my rails? Something happened. Something's broken. Something didn't work. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, so we got those rails back. Figured out what the issue was. So we were having an issue where that observer for the flying machine right there was what this observer was detecting for extending these rails when the flying machine would arrive and then not when it would leave. Because if you did it when it would leave, it would push these out into empty space which would then break them and make them despawn and destroy them so we want it only to happen when it arrives and then extend them but when it leaves don't extend them and what was happening was when this piston would extend it would update that to to put out the redstone signal to start the flying machine which that would detect as an update but then when the block started moving down it would detect that also as an update so you're getting two updates when the machine was flying away which would then cause these pistons to extend when nothing was here, breaking the rails every time. But we have fixed that now, and now this is our receiving station. And let's go see if we can give you a full demo of this thing. Gosh, those are loud. I keep forgetting about that every single time. So we are gonna go in here. I had to set up a little villager killing system here because I had way too many villagers and it wasn't just, I couldn't get a villager in there. So let's see if this works now. So you, I'll eventually have the button up up top. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Come on, when you guys gotta do it. There's way too many villagers that they're just not able to get into the minecart. On creative where they're not jam-packed like this. Every time. Every time. Okay, we're gonna have to kill some of them. See if we can get one in there. <laughs> I hope this doesn't uh, affect my reputation. I don't think it does. I've seen other people do it with like arrows and stuff and I figured, oh, we'll just use a block. There we go. So it goes in, flies up, he gets caught on the flying machine. Flying machine will go all the way up. Once it detects it's there, slides in the, there, goes in, detects it's gone and go back down and wait for the next one. So now we have to build in the villager curing system, which I have the zombie like I mentioned. I went and got a sharpness five sword form. So it's two hits to zombify a villager and we will make that next. So here it is, our villager killing system. So after it comes off the rails here, it will go through this water, slowly getting pushed here. We will have this guy with the sharpness five sword sitting right there. He'll attack them twice, which will zombify them. Then they will get here. Once they get over here, this, <laughs> this detector rail will give us a potion of weakness to um, start de-zombifying de them, if you want to say that. And then I'll have the golden apples in here. This activator rail will activate the minecart to push out the zombie villager. And I have this little area around here, right here, that will then prevent them from landing out there and it will force them to go here. So if we show you, this is what will happen. Let's get this water so we don't go redstone everywhere. Once we're in here, get in here, and we'll get launched like that and we'll land right here. The villagers will land right there. And then what will end up happening is you can see this is my minecart system. Then the minecart will then end up going down here. He will, oh, got to take that down again. <laughs> got to take those noises down. Here we go. And then it will follow this water path through here. 
this water path will eventually lead to our system that will i know it's kind of slow i was thinking i was wondering if ice, ice blocks would go any faster but i, I don't think it really matters because curing zombie villagers takes a long time anyways but it will go down here it's going to drop down we eventually get to our cactus which then breaks the minecart and then puts it back into our system. So overall, really good system. Really liked it. You don't have to break it with the cactus up here. I was breaking it with a, my original design broke it with a cactus up here and then took it with hoppers down. But I was like, you know, I don't want to use that many hoppers. So this ends up actually working as long as you have two wide up here for it to, to fall in. It all falls in every time and it will follow that path. So now we have to get that guy in there. Okay, so got him in there. He went past where he's supposed to go. So now we want to come in here. We want to break this out because this is going to be his front is right there. And then now that he's trapped in there, what we want to do is put, put a button on this guy, activate it. There we go. Now he's back in there, which is perfect. And then we should be able to push him in there, hopefully a little bit more, maybe not. There we go, that works. And then we should, no, dang it. <laughs> dang it, I was hoping that wasn't gonna happen. No. Oh, now we gotta wait for night and get another zombie. It's not even worth trying to save him. Come here, dude. Yeah, get under that. Yeah, sorry. You were a guy that could pick things up. You're supposed to stay alive. No. Attempt two. Now I blocked in where no spot should be able to for him to get out. Hopefully this works. There we go. That's what was meant to happen the first time. So now he's stuck in there. And we can get the water going. And we should be able to put a trap door. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyways, that's fine. Perfect. He's stuck there. That's all we care about. With great power comes great responsibility, my friend. There you go. Now you should swap that out for something greater. Yeah, there you go. And we're just going to leave that torch. I do not care that that, <laughs> that torch is in there. Not going to give him the chance to give me with the sharpness battle. All right. So this should work. Let's give it a try. This should work. Okay, let's go down and activate. We have to get the button to come up here. That's the final thing we have to do. Let's get a villager in there. There we go. Villager comes up. He will then get dispensed here. There we go. He goes in there. Eventually gets in there. Oh, one hit. Nice. There we go. Gets back in there. There we go. And now we have our villager. Perfect. That's how it's supposed to work. The only thing that didn't happen is we didn't get a splash potion here because I haven't brewed the potions. I'll do it manually. But brew the potions and then the golden apples. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's going to conclude us for this episode, guys. I just got to hook up that last final button. And other than that, we are good to go with villager farming and getting better trades. So we are going to keep working on that. And I have one other little project I have to do off camera with the carrots. They're backing up way too much. I have to, I have to put in a filter for detecting when it's full and get rid of them. So anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.